Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be designing and animating magnified cards in Figma. Let's begin. Retrieve the frame tool from the tools bar and use it to draw a frame with a width and height of 180 pixels. Label these frame cards. Next, select an image with dimensions that match the size of the frame and place it inside the frame. To duplicate the frame, you may either use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl D or hold the Alt key on your keyboard and use a right click drag with your mouse. To scale the second frame, you may either use the keyboard shortcuts of key or access the drop down icon of the frame tool and select the scale tool. Set the scale to two times. To ensure seamless transition in your animation, align both shoe frames using the ruler guideline. To crop the image, first make sure the scaled frame is selected, then hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and double click. Set the crop dimensions to a width and height of 500, then confirm by pressing Enter on your keyboard. To form a circle, round the corners of your cropped image using equal dimensions. It is important to use equal dimensions to achieve a perfect circle. To align the circle with the main card, first hold the Shift key on your keyboard, then drag the circle onto the main card. If you are having difficulty aligning the circle, you may reduce its opacity and then increase it back to 100% once it is properly aligned. Using a rectangle tool, draw a rectangle with a width and height of 180 pixels. Label this rectangle and place it between the cutouts and sneaker layers. Reduce the opacity of the rectangle to 60% and set the background blur to 20. Select the circle and add a white stroke with a thickness of 7 pixels. To recrop the circle in the last card, first duplicate the card. Then select the circle and hold Alt on your keyboard while double clicking it. Use your mouse to move the image to a new area to crop while holding the Shift key. Once you have finished, press Enter to confirm and place the cutout on your design. Select the cutouts and background layers and move them back to the image. Switch to the prototype view, then select the cutouts layer from the layers panel. Link this layer to the second card, setting the trigger to unclick and keeping the rest of the settings at their default values. Select the second circle and link it to the last card. Set the trigger to on drag and the smart animate setting to ease out with a timer of 300 milliseconds. Repeat this process for the last card. Now let's preview the animation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on our future content. See you in the next one. Bye.